It is May 31st, last day of May, six o'clock. The sun is uh, starting to head down. Shadows are long, perfect time for gardening. So I thought I would take y'all on a little tour. Okay, here's plot number seven. The uh, potatoes are doing really nice. Nice and tall and green. I'm excited to get a bunch of uh, potatoes this year. So I'm really pleased about that and haven't had to do too much watering because I uh, mulched pretty thickly. So that's wonderful. Next session, section is peppers. So here's my row of poblanos. They're a little slower. They're a little, that one's looking a little funky. But moving forward, these were a couple varieties I bought. Uh, this is the Jabba the Hut, and this is oh, it's a, a Carolina Reaper. And then here are jalapenos. These are the lychee tomatoes, right there. And then I got a ahi charapita going right there. All right, so that's that section. I've got my tomato wall. The tomatoes are starting to look happier. We've been getting sunshine. Today we got a bunch of sunshine, so that's good. There is a, maybe a pest problem of some kind on this one, which makes me sad, but I'll work on it. So tomatoes all up and down the line. Here's my onion bed. Onions are getting nice and thick. Well, that's good, I just gotta keep them happy, but so far so good. Uh, then in here I've got two rows of marigolds along each of the steps. Got some Swiss chard and pretty slow. My peas are looking nice. Ooh, and that is my first pea blossom of the year. Boom. These are cucumbers. Um, looks like the cotyledons got a little powdery mildew or something, I don't know, or just fried by the sun a little bit, but the new leaves, the true leaves, are looking nice and green, so it's a good sign. Again, got two rows of marigolds along the side. I've got some beans here. These are the 1,500-year-old uh, cave beans. Looking pretty good so far. Got beets all along here. Um, hopefully they won't go to see. Oh, <gasps> that's a beet. <gasps> that's a beet. Okay, that's exciting. And then uh, some kale. Looking nice. This here is the berry patch. So we've got blueberries on the back and right here. And then huckleberry, huckleberry. Lingonberry, sea buckthorn, uh, goji. So a bunch of berries. I'm doing a woodland style mulching experiment. Last section back here, another row of, double row of marigolds, some lettuces that are looking probably pretty close to being harvested. Um, and then a bunch of other lettuces and kales that are not doing as well. But, you know, there's still greenery to eat. Back here are another type of bean. These are looking a little more weak. Not looking as happy. The ground's still pretty moist. I don't know. Who knows? And then, oops. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, I got a new bike for free. So I just biked to the allotment. And uh, here are the roses. Um, 
looks like a couple of them are starting to uh, open up. Ooh, that's pretty. It's got this really nice kind of sunset color. Except it looks like there are some leaves with some spots and yellowing, which I'm concerned about. This one, I don't see any of them. Oh, this one is kind of starting to open up and it is also kind of same, same coloring. Okay, out here, I planted some different things. This is the toothache plant. And apparently if you eat these um, flowers or leaves, your mouth will go numb, which is weird. Um, this is chamomile. This is a, a present from Johnny. It's um, round-leafed oregano. It's more like a, it looks like it's more used for the coloring of the foliage. More chamomile. And then a big row of uh, zinnias. There's a dahlia that might be coming up there. And, um, and some green stuff. I don't know. So, yeah, that's what's going on. This section right here, I don't know what to do with. I had some tulips that I basically killed. Along the fence, I've got some raspberries I need to do a little more work on. These are supposed to be Shasta daisies, or at least that's what my app says. Here's a grapevine, and here's some awesome uh, irises that I'm gonna spread along here.